Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step guide for your Sharp MFP two-factor verification setup. If you're currently experiencing trouble with your MFP scan to email feature, then this video is for you. Gmail has updated its security policy as of May 30th, 2022. This means that a new password will have to be generated and entered into the Sharp copiers as well as all other brands using Gmail. Before we get started, you'll need to find your MFP's IP address. To do this, Walk up to your MFP and find the settings icon. On the upper left, select status. Go down to network status. And then scroll down and look for IPv4 address. This will be your device's IP address. Next, you're going to navigate to the MFP's webpage by typing in the machine's IP address into your browser's address bar. This site will require a login Use admin, A-D-M-I-N, in all lower cases for the default password. If this does not work, that means that someone has changed the admin password for the copier, and you'll need to contact your company's IT department to get this sorted. Once you're logged in, you're going to select System Settings, Network Settings, and on the, on the left section, select Service Settings. Navigate to the SMTP section and scroll down to SMTP authentication. There you'll see a username and password field. The username is your MFP's Gmail address. The email is usually scanner.yourcompanyname at gmail.com or something similar. In a separate tab, you're going to navigate to gmail.com and copy and paste this email address into the username field. The default password is printer with a capital P, 123 exclamation mark. If you're unable to access this account, simply create a new Gmail account and update the Gmail address under the username in the SMTP section of your MFP's webpage. Once you're logged into your copier's Gmail address, select the grid option in the upper right corner and select the option for account. On the left hand side, you're going to select the security option and scroll down and select the option for two-step verification. Here, it'll ask you to get started and then log in again to verify your information. On this page, you'll be prompted to enter a phone number. Please ensure that this number can receive text messages for the verification code and that it's a number that can be associated with the account. This number will only receive a verification code when someone logs into this account. Once you receive the text message, you'll enter the code received on the next page. Select the option to turn on two-step verification. Once it's turned on, you're going to return to the main securities window You'll have a new option under two-step verification called app passwords. Select this option right here to proceed. You'll be asked to verify your login information once more. And once prompted to do so, choose the drop-down menu, select apps and the option other. Then name the app as the Sharp MFP device's unique name as shown here in the example. A new app password will be generated for this device. You're going to copy this password as it'll be the new password to authenticate the MFP when scanning to email. It's important that you have this password saved somewhere accessible because once you select done, the password will disappear and you'll be unable to retrieve it. Under the username password fields, you're going to select the checkbox for change password to enable the password field. You're going to copy and paste the app password into this field And once you're done, scroll down and press the blue submit button. Once the page refreshes, scroll down to connection test and press the execute button. This will verify that your connection is working. You may now verify that this test is working using your scan to email feature on your MFP. If you have multiple MFPs in your office, please note that each machine has its own unique IP address. You would use this IP address to log on to each device's MFP webpage 
and you would repeat the verification process for each device. The same Gmail account can be used across all devices for your SMTP username. However, you'll need to generate a new app password for each device. This concludes your tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact your AD Solutions account representative for more information.